YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. And I got a really serious video I need to put up, guys. This is actually, you know, while everyone's focused on the 10K ban, cash ban in Australia, there's something happening right now, and it's big. This is the start, guys. This is the real start. This is, I guess, the match that lit the fuse, or the wick, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start off respectively reading something. Hear morals, the sacred cry. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Hear the sound of broken chains. See noble equality enthroned. On the face of the earth rises a glorious new nation. Her head is crowned with laurels, and, and a lion lies defeated at her feet. May the laurels be internal, that we knew how to win. Let us live crowned with glory or swear to die gloriously. That is, if you don't know, the Argentinian national anthem translated into the English language. Now, why am I singing this and why? Because things are getting really bad in Argentina, guys. You guys have no clue. And I'm going to read this one little short article and this should spark a little bit of interest, especially with the way things are headed right now. Argentina imposes further capital controls, sharply cuts US dollar buying limits to $200 a month. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second here. Sharply cuts US dollar buying limits by 200 bucks per month. This article's over a week old, week and a half old. This is an actual incredibly big deal. I'm not trying to pull an AM TV and say the world's going to end in three hours. Oh my God, the world's going to end. Now it's going to end. No, we are going now into an economic unknown fog. Okay, because we've never built or created a monster like this one before. This is when Victor Frankenstein created his monster and didn't know what to expect when it came to life or didn't know how to get it or, or didn't know what, what to think. And this is what happened with this economic monster we've created. Now people are limited to buying $200 US per month. Okay, now here's the deal with that. Now here's the deal with that. It's a big deal because now people can't run to a safe haven like the dollar. They're not allowed to. They are being controlled to be stuck in their own currency that might devalue. Do you remember back, what was it, in the late 80s when the Argentinian peso crashed and everyone ran to the banks to switch over to American dollars before uh, or silver or gold or anything they could get their hands on that they could sell back eventually one day if they're economy comes back on track. Their economy came back on track almost overnight when they raised interest rates. But then things got worse and corrupt. But Central Bank of Argentina has further imposed restrictions on the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar purchases to maintain exchange stability and protect re reserves. So there's going to be a runoff on the Argentinian peso, guys. Individual Argentinians will, not be, will now be limited to U.S. purchases of $200 per month a steep drop from the previous $10,000 per month limit, according to the statement published by the Central Bank on Sunday. Any amounts beyond the new limit will require special permission. So your money won't allow you to buy other money without special permission. Peppers, please. Peppers. The $200 limit is for individuals with a bank account, while for cash purchases... And for non-residents, the limit is 100 bucks. So if I'm stranded in Argentina and i got to pay somebody in dollars, I'm screwed. These limits are not uh, cumulative per the state, per the sta statement, sorry. Uh, people who bought more than two, uh, U.S. dollars 200 in October and less than, one, uh, less than U.S. dollars 10,000 will not be penalized, said the central, central bank. The capital control measure in Argentina have seen to help cryptocurrency adoption in the country. 
with volumes picking up. Several cryptocurrency currency exchanges have either launched or planning to launch their operations in South American country. Earlier this month, Mexican crypto exchange Bisto raised funds to expand in Argentina, among other markets. Hubu also announced its plans to launch a crypto exchange in Argentina. Bianci as well recently hinted at launching a, fi- uh, a fiat to crypto platform in the country. So, guys, this is an actual f- important three and a half, four paragraphs here that I just read for you guys. You don't understand the implications. This will basically allow other countries surrounding, like Brazil, Chile, and all those other countries, to star- stop or prevent people from jumping on a safe haven. And then, when people turn to gold and silver, the governments will just come and confiscate it from you. So, basically, that's that. That's what will happen eventually when people start turning to gold and silver. This is a huge move, because it's going to allow other countries like Mexico, eh, heck, maybe even in Canada. You buy more than $10 American, you must report it to the federal government of Canada. Guys, this is very serious. I really need you guys to take the time to to kind of maybe rewatch this video so you could understand we're we're headed we're headed towards disaster guys and I'm not trying to pull an AMTV here I'm really I'm not this is just the beginning now with Australia banning the 10k pa- uh, 10k cash ban guys this is a problem I'm going to have to have you guys comment below on this and uh, maybe people that know how dangerous this situation is to maybe comment below and let other people know why I am so kind of unhinged on this one. Comment below, let me know. Thanks for watching.